Joining me on the line now is Audley Harrison, who won gold for Great Britain in the super heavyweight division at the Sydney Olympics in 2000. He joins us from Las Vegas. Audley, very good to talk to you. Um, just tell us a bit about Ali and what he meant to you. Yeah, Ali meant so much to me. I mean, when you talk about the greatest, he really was the greatest of all time, not just for what he'd done in the ring, uh, the most charismatic, one of the most charismatic fighters with the biggest heart that you would ever see. I mean, some of these fights are just, you know, the greatest fights that you've ever seen in the boxing ring, from George Foreman to, to Joe Frazier. It was just a great era. And what he done out of the ring was just incredible. He was more than a legend. He, he was such a... It was a, it was so profound when I actually met him for his 60th birthday in London. I just think all around the world, you can see by the tributes that his loss, uh, the loss of Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time, is, uh, is felt around the world. He was such a charismatic man. You know, Tell us a bit about his technique um, as a professional yourself. Uh, what, what was it like and did you learn from it? Oh my God, float like a butterfly, spin like a bee. That was Muhammad Ali. You know, he, he, had the, the, he was so graceful in the ring. He was, he was a boxer, but he was a boxer puncher. So he had, he had very good ring, ring intelligence, the way he moved around the ring, the way he would throw his combination punches. You couldn't hit him. There was, there's, there's a video of him fighting uh, a beast of a man. Uh, I think it was Ron Lyle. And he's on the ropes, holding onto the ropes, and he's slipping to the left, he slips to the right. He was so graceful, uh, so skillful, so technical. Uh, great hand speed, blistering hand speed. And uh, for a big guy, uh, these big, slow, heavy, heavyweights, uh, with the big power, uh, they could never land a clean punch in him. And obviously, uh, when he got older and he slowed down, uh, then they were starting to give him punishment. But what people don't understand, Muhammad Ali had the biggest heart out there. Uh, the fights that he had where he was hurt, he, he always came back. And they were fighting 50 rounds back then. So I just think he, he lived an amazing life. Uh, and even post his boxing career, even during his career, he always stood up for what was right, which was what was so powerful for me when I, when I studied his life. He was so, he stood up for what was right. He didn't matter about the, the principle. If the cause was right, Muhammad Ali was, was behind it. And, and that was through his, all, all the way through his life. And, and like I said, when I got to meet him at his 60th birthday party, uh, that's one of the highlights of my life, sitting on the top table with Muhammad Ali for 90 minutes was, was something that I'll never forget. And what did you say to him, or what did he say to you? No, he, because I, I just won, this was his 60th birthday in London, I just won, won, won the Olympics, and myself, Lennox Lewis, Nassim Hamid, and Muhammad Ali was on the top table, and I was just, I was so dumbfounded, I, and I'm not normally a guy that's lost for words, but sitting with Muhammad Ali, and uh, he was he was cracking his jokes. He was doing, he used to do all these kind of jokes with his fingers, like you know, make his palm disappear. And his eyes were so vibrant, so engaging. And uh, he whispered something in my ear, and uh, you know, I won't share that with the world. He whispered something to me personally, and, and I'll never forget it. And uh, like I said, that's just one of my highlights of my life sitting with Muhammad Ali. You're talking there about, you know, the chat, the Ali chat, and a lot of people today have been saying, even in the ring, he, he would taunt his opponent with words as well as punches, um, which would actually put them off. What did you make of that? Well, you know, he was, he was the master psychologist, and, and he, it's a lesson, actually, to some of the, uh, the antiques of some of these professional boxers that are in the public eye today, that Muhammad Ali, everything he'd done was always tongue-in-cheek. And he always had a glint in his eye. So when he was taunting his opponents, and there was a couple of times in his career where he got personal with a couple of the fighters and, and he got heated. But most of the time when Muhammad Ali was, was riling their opponents, it was tongue-in-cheek, he had a glint in his eye. So the public was always behind him. And it was always fun and, and everybody was laughing. Everybody would turn up to his, his public workout. And Muhammad Ali was, a, was the most, one of the most charismatic fighters there that will ever live. And he took that into the ring and he'd use it to beat his opponents mentally, uh, or either get them too mad or, or get them overwhelmed. And, and so he just he was just a master tactician, and, um, you know, um, he, he just done an amazing job in the ring, and like I said, an amazing job out of the ring. And obviously I've, I've, I've met his daughter later, Ali, on, on a few occasions, so I do want to send my condolences to, to, the, to the Ali family uh, around the world, uh, and, uh, you know, condolences to, for their loss. Audley Harrison, thank you very much for talking to us.